So this right here is a robot I set up to automatically contact people about their websites that they have listed on their Twitter profile and offer them a fix on their website in order to start building relationships with website owners. Now I can send about a thousand of these messages per day with this simple step-by-step -step system that I created for you and I will be showing you today. So this is a simple automation exploit that you can use to start getting clients uh, with a robot um, and it's very easy to set up. It doesn't take a lot of effort or time or expertise to do it and I've been getting responses for people who are interested in getting help with their websites. Um, so I wanna show you how to do that today, how you can set this up for yourself. Um, <clears throat> so before we get started, I do wanna mention, if you go to the link in my the description of this video, linktree.chase, uh, link tr.ee slash chase reiner um, you can get my free checklist um, you can also get the phantom buster robot as well um, which will help you set this up along with a bunch of other stuff i have an elite mastermind group where i um, i do weekly live zoom calls that you can come and actually talk to um, talk to me on a zoom zoom call um, we'll be closing that very soon so make sure you get in there and uh, that's pretty much it. So let's go into the tutorial. Let's not waste any time. So first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna get the PH Buster um, robot and um, you can get a free account for like the first couple crawls. You don't actually need a ton of time to do this. Um, there's a way you can make sure this is automated every day. I'll show you how to do that. But with the free account, you can actually just start testing this and see um, if it's something you wanna do. So what you do is you go to the um, Phantoms and you go to uh, Twitter. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna start by, uh, what I would recommend is collecting your own followers if you have followers. If you don't have followers, then I'd recommend collecting somebody else's followers. So um, what I do is I just go to Twitter follower collector, use this Phantom, um, connect this to my Twitter account uh, cookie. And then I just have to load up um, whoever's followers I wanna extract. So if I wanna extract my own followers, I would just go copy this link and then I would paste it into Phantom Buster. Um, or if I wanted to follow somebody else uh, or grab somebody else's followers, I could just do um, SEO, look up SEO, find some people that are in this niche. And obviously you can do this for, for any type of niche you wanna do outreach on. Let's say it's this guy, he's got 14,000 followers. So I'd copy this, uh, this URL here and I would plug it directly into here. So I'll press save. Um, I'm gonna make sure that this is empty so it'll just go ahead and crawl all of the followers or scrape all the followers. I'll press launch. And then what this is gonna do is it's going to start finding all of the followers for um, this account. So you can see it has 14,900 uh, 14, followers. It's grabbing them all right now. Um, after it grabs them all, I'm just gonna stop this because we don't need to grab them all right now. Um, mainly because this is just an example and it looks like we're actually going to have to grab them all because stop it too early, then it doesn't give you the output. So while that's loading, um, let me just talk about what you're gonna do for the next step. So what's gonna happen is it's going to uh, give you a spreadsheet of all of the different followers. It's gonna give you their URLs, it's gonna give you their websites. Um, if they have them listed on their profile, it's gonna give you their names. And what you can do is if you use these hashtag symbols in your outreach, let's say I do hashtag name or hashtag website, it will pull that into your message based on what columns are in your spreadsheet. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over to our, our phantoms again, we're gonna click on um, Twitter, and this time we're gonna go click on Twitter message sender. So we'll press use this phantom, we're gonna connect our cookie, this is where we're gonna put our spreadsheet, and this is where we can start constructing our message. So um, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna say, hey, and we're gonna pull whatever the column is. It looks like this just finished so we can actually look at the columns. Oh, looks like it's still going actually. Um, I think, I believe uh, it's name. Hey name, um, I saw your website. And then uh, we're gonna put website and then hashtag website. And that'll pull the website that is found in their profile. Um, and noticed there were a few things wrong that I could uh, help you fix very quickly. Let me know. Um, it would only take me a few minutes to do. Okay. So something along the lines of that, you could also mention, I mentioned in there that I have a lot of experience doing this stuff, blah, blah, blah. And it looks like it's finally done. So I'm going to copy this link and here's the columns that we have to reference. So if we click on the little I button preview right here, it's a little I, um, it'll show us what columns it pulled. So it pulled profile URL, um, screen name. So we just want name right here. Um, it gives you the image URL. So you could reference that. I don't know why you would. Um, gives you their bio if you want to talk about their bio. And then it gives you their website. Um, it also gives you their location, which is kind of cool. You could actually mention, hey, I saw you were in this area. 
Um, and then it mentions their location, which is something I might test out eventually. So anyways, um, what we're going to do is we're going to go to Twitter, Twitter message center. It looks like we got everything correct. Let's see. Let's make sure that it was, um, hashtag website, not hashtag website URL. Yeah, it was, it was just website. Um, so, okay, we're going to press save and we're going to do it repeatedly three times per hour. And what that's going to do is it's just going to give us, um, it's going to run for us three times per hour, uh, sending messages, which will end up equaling about, um, let's go calculator. So we got a thousand divided by 24, um, hours a day. That's 41. So you could actually send about 40 com, uh, 40 messages per hour, but I, I, I try to keep it to 30 cause I just want to play it safe. So now when I press launch, what we should see happen is it's connected to my account, sending messages. Um, and it looks like I, I, I forgot to load up the profile. So let's actually stop this. Let's set up and then let's grab this profile, the, the links to the, to the uh, spreadsheet. There we go. Um, we just paste it in there, press save, and now it should run okay. Press launch. Now, if you're not seeing this, it's because the default, you're just going to see this. Um, if you want to see what it's doing, press toggle console, and now it'll show you. So it's pulling all those URLs here, and um, it looks like uh, certain profiles, they're restricting only to their followers. So um, it might actually be um, in, in, in most cases, I guess, that uh, you, you have to message your own followers. So um, in, in that case, what I would probably end up doing is uh, obviously pull your own followers if you have your own followers. If you don't, there's an easy way to start getting interaction so that people will end up following you on Twitter. Um, the way I would do it is I would start auto following people that generally will follow you back and then also auto liking their, their posts. So instead of me going and, um, trying to message these people, instead what I can do is I can use this auto follow phantom, press connect, load up the same spreadsheet like this, save. And, um, let's just say I want to follow 10 people, um, three times per launch, or let's just say, let's just say once, let's do twice per hour. Okay, here we go and launch. And now um, these people will start being followed. Here we go. Let's see if it works. Connecting to Twitter. And it looks like, yes, it is following them now. And we can actually go to this URL to see if it is. Just copy that. And, it's, and now I am following them. So I can also like their, their post. Um, the way I can do that is I can go over to um, Phantoms, Twitter. And now what I can do is go to Auto Liker, use this, connect, same spreadsheet. And then um, basically the same thing. I'm just going to do repeatedly twice per hour. And now I'm going to start auto liking their posts as well. So I guess I should have showed you how to do engagement first, just so that people will end up following you and then message them. I didn't realize that so many people are restricting now their, um, oops, I actually did the wrong. I should have done the spreadsheet, not the singular profile. Um, I guess a lot of people do have it set where they don't have their profile uh, easily accessible. Um, by, uh, by DMS. Now, I guess that's like a new thing. It wasn't really like that before when I was when, from what I found, but, um, yeah, I mean, it's pretty easy to do. Um, if you need help setting this up, feel free to email me. Um, I'm at chasewriner.com is my email. Uh, I, I am setting this up for a few people. There's a ton of other stuff you can do as well. You can do it with Pinterest. You can do it with LinkedIn. You can do it with email. I'm automating like a bunch of stuff right now with this. So if you're interested in um, getting this done for you, uh, I will be doing it for a few people. So anyways, uh, hope you guys like that hack. Um, one thing I will mention is that what you're going to end up doing um, once you uh, get your foot in the door, you're going to offer to fix a problem for them on their website. I would use my SEO checklist to find a problem or you just use Screaming Frog. And then you're going to come back with more problems that they need to fix and then you offer all those fixes for a, for a one-time fee of 247 bucks by offering them like a low ticket thing to fix something easy to fix or fix all their problems for 1500 bucks everything that's on the spreadsheet that's how i would do it all right we'll talk to you soon till next time happy SEOing. bye